I'm sitting home laying in bed with my oxygen machine running and all that good kind of stuff and just hoping for the best. And then it, I don't know, it seems like a miracle got pulled off or whatever. I had absolutely no energy. I couldn't, I couldn't walk five feet at some points and stuff. I would be out of breath, out of energy. I was grouchy all the time, irritable. I wasn't the ray of sunshine that I am now. I have been transferred from outside hospital for concern of pulmonary embolism and actually a CT angiogram as well as an echocardiogram demonstrated a hole in his heart. that because of the elevated, elevated pressure in the lung, he is not a great candidate at all for surgical approach, meaning open heart surgery. And so I then consulted Dr. Vaticato, and he had the idea of coming up with potentially catheter approach rather than open heart surgery to re-established the correct routing of Mr. Lackey's uh, blood return to the heart. The concept in my mind that some patients may benefit from it, this, but this is not an established way of treating. So I didn't know whether ever I will be able to treat a patient. But when he came to us with a condition where surgery was not an option and he was inoperable, I thought he may benefit from the specific device that we could create for him. So we got the CT angiogram to half the anatomy looked in three dimensional so we looked at the three dimensional CT angiogram. Then I felt fairly confident that it can be done and that's when we asked for the 3D printed models. Then we went ahead with uh, printing a flexible model of the, his heart condition and then uh, try the stent in the model before we put it in. Everything went as we envisioned or as we planned and it happened and there he is. It's, it's very rewarding and especially when now he is able to go back to his work and enjoy his life and he has no signs of heart failure. The last when I saw him he has no swelling, he is able to do much more physical activities and uh, he's a happy man. So. It's very rewarding. You know, I still feel like the best years of my life are ahead of me now and stuff. I feel like I can go back and maybe right some of the wrongs from before or something like that and just try and be a better person. Um, just I take every day <laughs> as a, a second chance at life, I guess you would say. I appreciate every day to the fullest.